monthly Savannah real estate market review in just four minutes. So keep watching. What's up everyone? Ed Yunette here, your favorite real estate agent here in Savannah, Georgia. And it is that time of the month again for the monthly market update for the greater Savannah real estate market. And let's get jump right into it. The first thing we're gonna talk about is prices. Prices over the last couple of months have stayed relatively flat. They went from about 296, 296, 500, uh, to 294, 500, which you know, over month over month, for a couple of months, it's been they've been rel relatively stable. And then the next one we've got is the price per square foot. Now I always say the price per square foot is a decent indicator, but the thing is, you've never gone out and said, hey, listen, I'm going to go buy a house for 163 dollars per square foot. It's kind of a lagging indicator, but it's a good way to uh, uh, compare apples to apples. And, and it's, you can see there from the graph that it's, it's been pretty consistent over the last, oh, I'd probably say pretty much through um, all of 2023 and 2022. So then the next one we've got is days on market. Days on market have jumped up a little bit, but still well below the average, I'd say is probably historic average is probably about 60, 70, almost 80 days. Um, 80 days for days on market historically but today they jumped from 35 days to 43 days so it's taken a little bit longer to sell houses all right then the next one we've got is homes for sale homes for sale have been pretty steady over the last uh, I'd say 12 months they've been around uh, 1900 1800 to 2200 uh, right now there are 2258 homes for sale in the greater Savannah area real estate market then the next thing is your month supply. Month supply has also been pretty stable for the last probably six months uh, at 2.4 months supply. That means that if there were no more homes listed on the market, that approximately it would take approximately 2.4 months to sell everything that we have in inventory. So uh, still very low, very, very low. Um, new listings. New listings have jumped up a little bit as we get more into the springtime. Uh, Seasonally, you're going to see the, the number of people wanting to sell their houses are going to jump up. Then the uh, next one is closed transaction. Closed transactions are down uh, to 580, which is really low. Okay, this is the lowest you can. It's been you can see since uh, 2017. Uh, uh, I think it dipped down to 2018. It dipped down the, uh, to about this level, but uh, that is really off compared to where we were, you know, a year ago, year and a half ago. So. It is definitely, as we've seen in some of the other statistics, that it's going to take a, a little bit longer to sell your home, but homes are still selling. All right. So the next one we've got here is pending sales. Pending sales this month are 116 pending sales. Those are going to be the sales for next month. So you can see it's ticked up coming into the spring season, so it's, it's going to get a little bit busier. More homes are going to start selling. All right, then the next one we've got is showings per listing. You can see that there are more people looking because you can see it, before it was 3.5 showings per listing. Now it's five showings per listing. So there are more buyers out there looking at homes, which means that there's going to be more uh, showings, going to be more contracts, going to be more under contracts, going to be more solds. All right, then, oh, that's it. That's the last slide. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions about the real estate market, please let me know. Uh, I could make this video an hour long because there is so much information that uh, is compacted into all these numbers. But um, anyway, if you have any questions about real estate, please let me know. Love doing these videos, but yeah, I love even more is uh, helping you sell your house or helping you buy a house. So uh, give me a holler at 912-844-9000 if you have any questions or reach out to me on any of the social media sites. Thanks again for watching.